Jewish Center's video blog with the Torah portion of Vayakel. So the drama is done. The Jews received the Ten Commandments, and then they sinned and were finally forgiven. And then this week, they're getting ready to build the movable home for God. Cool! You know, I also live in one of these micro-movable homes. <laughs> it's like 12 square feet. So check this! When I'm done eating my organic grass and ginger salad on this table here, I just clear the table, climb into bed, and just go to sleep. I've also allowed natural rainwater to go from my bathroom to my sink by creating these carbothermal. thermal Um, uh, no. They definitely didn't build a micro-hipster home for God. It was an intricate, divinely designed structure built to serve him and make him feel welcomed in. Moses calls all the talented carpenters, blacksmiths, tailors, jewelers, and craftsmen to come help in the building of the tabernacle. Because the details and specifics of this project are very precise and elaborate, so only the best in the biz can be drafted to do the work. I'm here for the interview. Well, come on in, have a seat. So I see here that you're looking to be part of our tabernacle building crew. Well, I really don't do any manual labor, but if you need any legal advice, or somebody gets hurt on the job, just call me. We can work something out. Yeah, I can schlep, but for that pay, uh-uh, buddy. Uh, fashion skills? Yes. Actually, I have a vision for a brand new line of priestly clothing, because, let's face it, bell bottoms? <laughs> I mean, really? Really? Ooh, top of your class. Who's she? I'm his mother! I would never leave my Joey alone in this aggressive environment. He's a great worker, very independent. He could get a bit lazy. He gets it from his father. Sit up straight, you young man! Oi! A nicht of Zilocha's dicker! And then the Torah tells us what these talented people needed to make. Wooden beams, sockets, tent covers, the ark, the menorah, the bread table, the altars, the clothing, the curtains, and the pegs. Wait, did you just say pegs? Why would making simple pegs require such talented craftsmen? Was it so necessary for such amazing artists to design such simple pieces of equipment? Couldn't some regular dudes make the pegs while the talented guys could focus on the more advanced Work. Hello, Monsieur, I give to you my masterpiece. Mwah. I like to call this Cheerios with milk. Seriously? You know, I could have done that myself. Why didn't the talented people do the difficult work while leaving the simple stuff to the simple guys? And Rashi, the famous commentator, gives us the answer. The artists who made those elaborate curtains also made the simple pegs because they went together. If the pegs weren't there, then the curtains would just fly away in the wind. So they were one single unit of craftsmanship. And here's where you come into the picture. Excuse me! When it comes to influencing our surroundings with holiness, we need to ensure that the greatest talents and skills are involved with the work. Just producing a half-baked result is not an option when serving God. We need to produce the absolute best, but together with that, we can't focus only on the significant, highly skilled contributions that we can influence, while leaving aside the simpler, less important elements for someone else to take care of. If we go out to change the world, we can't ignore those tiny good deeds along the way that may seem below our dignity or pay grade to involve ourselves with. Here at the Himalayan Water Gnome Fund, we have a grand vision of a world free of hunger and pain. Dad, could you have my homework? So donate generously as we pledge to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and heal the sick. Dad, I feel so bad. Because we're changing the very rotation of our world, one water gnome at a time. We need to think big and give all our talents towards a better world, but we also need to give time, attention, and love to the tiny, seemingly insignificant details along the way. And then, when the violent winds around us blow, trying to tear apart the fabric of a holy life, we'll be safe and strongly secured, able to shine bright through the darkness. In your life, invest all your skills and talents towards the great dream of a better world. Donate generously to great causes and think big, but also, Smile at your neighbor. Ask the beggar down the street how he's doing. Don't let yourself ignore the tiny passive acts of love and care that you can give to those around you along the way. Shabbat Shalom. Ain't no road to happiness Cause happiness is the road Enjoy every moment of your life And you can be happy without
without love. But for that pay, no. No way, Jose. Hunger and pain. Heal the sick. <laughs> for that pay, no way, Jose. Two, three, go. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up straight, you. <laughs> Daddy, could you put this video in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bloopers? You can't ask me. Here we go. <laughs>